Uncle Artyom! Uncle Artyom! Uncle Tokarev has already set his shop up! Wanna go look? It's so cool! Here I... Uncle Artyom! Ah, hi Artyom! See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Uh, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach, yet there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this, too. Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder it'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work in the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he... he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was I? Well, I'll be working here from now on. Well, that's it. I've bragged enough and won't waste any more of your time. The girl summoned you. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, pick the guitar up. Thank you, Stepan. I'm sorry to ask, Katya, but not just father. He's dead, well, guys, is he? The Duke's well, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Look, stop with this funeral mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how he came back from the library? Same thing here. Well, yeah, that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. It was a good speech, too. Thanks. Well, that is true. Don't be shy. So, Sam ends his speech, and then Duke asks, Where's my drink? <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I say we should wait. He came back from that library. And this, this is nothing. We will pick him up on our way back. If we leave to go back. Oh, come on! Well, I just think we should still drink to Duke's memory. And if he's alive, that's only a good omen. Sam, what do you say? I'll drink later. Gotta finish cooking. Okay. Let's drink! All right, let's! <coughs> oh, it's rough! <coughs> <laughs> yeah, kinda rough. By the way, speaking of omens, let's have a service for him once we come across Please. another church. I tried keeping it a secret. Well, I have stuff to do too. Oh, a smoke break. That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke. That guy did a swell job on that bridge. Uncle Tokarev! Uncle Tokarev! May he rest in peace. What would you like to Around three days past. Uh, hey guys, there's something I've been thinking about. What has everyone expected this trip? Duke used to say that he just couldn't spread his wings back home. 
He was too eager to win that girl over with heroics. He thought that outside he'd have space for them. Come here, Artyom. Listen. I had a talk with the Ark. And all thanks to Tokura, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark. Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, over. This is Colonel Skeptoslav Mionikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy? Over. Yes. Yes. Uh, hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? Uh, how do I address you? Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that a checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? Simply capable. I am sorry for the lack of trust, but, as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the Special Forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, we are a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. We are heading towards you from Sector K-6, Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. K-6... Alpha, you say? As far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! Just a few words more, though. What is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information, uh, but... I do understand you. We are doing fine. Do not worry. Well, see you in the Ark. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking. Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at the map. As you can see, we are heading almost straight for the Yamantau complex. Katya and Chris still need to... We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the metro. Railcar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abundant, but the truck is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20.
20 years, my whole life, and it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look, are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh, don't say that. Cover tunnel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on! Passengers, get inside and put them up tight! Yes, of course. Come on, master. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for our film and me. Roger that, How sir. about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Tion was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. We'll make up for that now. Well, we're almost there. So th this is a bad place. Now we should not come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Wait. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? we we'll expect it. Yes, 
Saturn, sir. Yes, sir. So quiet. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case. I pulled an old nighter. <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Minister, Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. <coughs> so far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... You're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get John this like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of I'll hers. tie my hands, you motherfucker, and I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people and the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though, since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll 
get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here. I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. When I get to it, burn this cup to ashes. Long time since the world. Now we'll be full again. Good. D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True. That's quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! Your floor, Artyom!